And what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Brickhead family. I am Daddy Brickhead. And I am Big Brickhead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It is Wednesday. So it is chit. And I'm chat. Chit and chat for Let's Chat Wednesday. And we do have a special <laughs> in the panel tonight. Special wait. Guest, introduce yourself. Where am I? Is this, wait, this isn't building live with Brick Vibe. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Well, he doesn't even show up for his own stuff. That's true. That's true. Oh, baby oh, brickhead hello, here. brickhead family. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is I, Mr. Hinkle. Uh, Aloysius Hinkle. Aloysius. It is I, Aloysius. Uh, so, so, okay, without spoiling, just nod your head, yes or no. Did somebody find out your middle name? Uh, yes, actually, like four or five people did. Okay. <laughs> like, dang it! Dang it! Dang it! <laughs> Hey. So okay. yeah, it happened. Because uh, if you were paying attention to, I believe it was Hoosier stream, you would have known. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, stop, stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> shush, shush. Uh, yeah, but we are two weeks. Two weeks from today, I will be in Philly at this time. So Can you good. Go already Philly breakfast. Man, I, I wish. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you are pumped, aren't yeah, you? I'm, I'm gonna pumped. miss daddy. Oh, you're gonna miss me? It's that okay. means you're doing a good job, Nick, when your kids actually miss Whoa. you when you're gone. <laughs> you're doing all right. Exactly, right. Yeah, the other one in the living room, he's probably like, nah. <laughs> he's like, I got Fortnite. I'm good. I'm, I'm doing okay. All right, so who do we got in the chat out there? It looks like we got Malego, Brick Pasta, Midnight Cat Bricks, Jeff's World Vlogs, and Chaser Plays. What is up, guys? Taste your plays. It's just checking in. All right. So, um, Minette Catbrick says they ain't going to Philly with you. No, unfortunately. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, we're not going. Oh. This is a solo daddy brickhead trip because uh, it happens smack dab at the, you know, during their school time. If it happened like during their spring break time, I would have had them go, but no. Our house was. We got Kevin Riddle and Bellatrix. Kevin Riddell. And the Bellatrix. What's up, Bellatrix? I haven't seen you pop in the, in the chat for a while. All right, so you are going to build a set tonight. What are you going to build? Harry Potter. And it's called the Quidge <laughs> Now, this has been sitting on our, on our backlog shelf since it came out, right? And guess what, guys? I made mean, a flower from school. Oh, yeah. Brick Blaze wow. and Shiny Bricks. Oh, what's up, guys? What's up, Blaze? Oh, and if you if you check right here, we do have our another brick in the wall wall going. And we added a new brick this week, or from last week's stream. We do now have Jed's Brick Hobby. Look at that fancy Unikitty up there. All right. Starstruck. Exactly. The hardest one to find. Wait, no, that's not the hardest no, one. Look, guys, I made this from school. Oh, she's making, what is it, plants or seeds with cotton balls? Yeah. That's just crazy. Yeah, that's how you make flowers. Oh, that's how you make flowers? Yeah. Awesome. You dip it in water. That is cool. Hey, uh, this is my Hold on. I got I to gotta sit down. Oh, oh, we got in talk. Welcome, in talk. Uh, I yeah, did yeah. enjoy your guest appearance today or yeah, today on uh are you guys gonna still call it short 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 <laughs> hey what okay everybody calm down <laughs> <laughs> i need everybody just to take it down a notch yes it's still called short sort <laughs> short sort i am uh yeah there has been what three episodes in a row that have run a little a little, a little long okay. uh but uh, yes, we're so, we're sorry that we're so excited to share this with you all. <laughs> I'm just saying, when I was on, I was put on a short time spot where it's like, okay, we, we five minutes, we're blowing this popsicle stand. Let's check got candy. What? Let's check got candy. Oh, let's check got candy. Nice, uh, Day Breakhead. What's your take on RoboCop? Would you re recommend it to Malego? Robocop's awesome, bro. Uh, yeah. Who doesn't like Robocop? I Dude, do. you just seen Robocop. 
Hey, no, no, I love Robocop. <laughs> I love what do Robocop. you mean? I've just seen Robocop. No, what, are you, like, what do you mean, you people? <laughs> Yeah, uh, you saw the the new RoboCop. You you didn't see the the old school RoboCop hey, until a little while ago. No, I seen the old RoboCop like a long time ago. We just no. picked up the old RoboCop. Though. Yeah, but I'm just saying that uh, I've seen it before. Back in the day when we had VHS VHS tapes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You've never seen a VHS tape, bro. Yes, I have. <laughs> Are you and, kidding me? It's this called the Shark Face. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, all this right. ladies and gentlemen, this is the content you came here for. <laughs> <laughs> Press the button, subscribe, ring the bell over wherever it is. Press the like, put a comment. This is this is the chaos. This is controlled <laughs> chaos, which is I'll buy that for <laughs> uh, Yeah, and the thing is, we bought the RoboCop movie for a dollar to dollar store. <laughs> then we, yeah, we were making a joke about that. <laughs> All, right. I mean, All right, so Midnight Catbrick says, are you making snow angels? Uh, no, unfortunately, uh, well, I don't want to say unfortunately. Fortunately, <laughs> a little bit of snow we did get today didn't stick, so. Ugh, snow. Uh, Brickblaze says, this is a show. How is it over there? No, nah, Who's Your Bricks is in the chat. What's up, Who's Your we got Brick Tom yet? I like how we have a lot of people in the chat, but it only says three people. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Guess All right, what? so you going to dump these out and start building this? I'm yeah. going to help Ravi. you going to help him? Okay. All right, so Baby Brickhead usually will stay here for like two seconds to try to build, and then boom. She'll uh, she be skedaddling. She'll be out. No, I make this. Well, why don't you go turn off your uh, your weep head? Okay, I'm going to go eat. Hoosier's in the chat. Frank 17 seconds in. Uh, well, at least the the Wii pad uh, still gets some use with watching YouTube with Baby Brickhead. <laughs> we talk about I play Smash all the time on the Wii pad. You ain't got no Smash skills. I love Smash. <laughs> did you what? What was the sentence you just said? You what did you just say? repeat that? What you just said? You don't have any Smash skills. No, no. Right at what, what did Jigglepuff just say? I love Smash. Okay, I thought you said like I, you said a bunch of words. And I'm like, was that a coherent statement? <laughs> it was like lily pad smash something. I was like, what? Like it was just a bunch of words, and I couldn't I couldn't keep up with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, Brick Blaze, we did get a little bit of a wintry mix today. We we're from like eighty to freaking like negative. Gross. Yeah. Super gross. Yeah, it's nasty. But I hear like Wisconsin actually, it's stuck up there and. Minnesota and Minnesota, eh? Uh, Hoosier says he will jump on after a shower. At least he's not going to jump on during the shower. Mad skills if he did. Uh, Kevin Riddell said he did get some snow today also. Uh, all right. It only counts the biggest fans. Oh, he's talking about the... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We don't have we don't have very many big fans. Except Kevin. I guess you can count him as big, but okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we don't really Kevin's, count Kevin's a pretty good supporter of the channel. He uh, is thank you. Wall. You are on another brick in a wall wall. I was number two, I think. Yep, exactly. You were number two. Get your name on the brick in a wall wall. Yeah. <laughs> what she well, look at it. She's trying to sell it. Any donations to the channel, we'll put your name on another brick in a wall wall. And it'll go to saving sharks. <laughs> yep. Poor, poor, poor Lego sharks are out there being bagged up with non-Lego stuff. At least with a $6 price tag. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, which moon is just ours? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Brick Blaze is probably, what, three, about three or four hours away from us, and he said it was 70 degrees there, and we had snow today. It's just not right. Uh, whoa, whoa. Hoosier says he wants to stream from the shower. <laughs> uh, okay. No, this is a family channel. Where's Shiny uh, with his red flags? With the red flags. <laughs> uh, Kevin, were you the one who bought one of my shirts, says Brick Blaze? Um, per perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you say, Kevin, you would like to get a, you know, a piece of your, your action that you, you put out there, right? Uh, there's somebody who's listening to me. Uh, yes, yes, I do. I try to get a sample of anything I design just so I have it in my portfolio. All right, so I don't know if there's anyone out there in the chat world that is watching the stream right now, but if you do need a logo or something made for your channel, made for anything, right? You would, do you do like work for businesses? I do, anyone that wants to give me money, I do work for, so yes. Right. So, so uh, contact Mr. Hinkle here at Mr. Hinkle Jaws. Hey. Or, 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 do you go by just Kevin Hinkle like on um, other like I don't know Instagram and that life um, like, yeah I mean obviously I've got I've got two different accounts on everything so it's either Mr. Yeah, Kevin Hinkle personally or Mr. Hinkle draws for business um, and you know the reason I did that um, not to get not to get too long winded but when I go onto different sites, like especially other artists. Like if I want to follow the work of an artist, it sounds really terrible, but sometimes I don't want to see the stuff that's not their artwork. I'm like, oh, I think you're a really cool artist and I want to see all the artwork you're sharing, but I don't want to see that, you know, I don't want to see the stroll you took today. Like I'm like, eh, that's yeah. all right. I don't want to see the art. So like, I'm like, I want to have an account that has just my artwork on it. And then I might as well have a business account. That's like, that's what it's for. So I have both. I use both, uh, and I will of course respond to either. Um, I just try to keep the business one only business, and then the personal one I do whatever with. But um, this is just can, business. Awesome. You can find me on the internet. <laughs> uh, Kevin Riddell says, "Can uh, Bearcat family? Can you say hi from Kevin to Kevin?" <laughs> Like, hi, like hi. Kevin saying hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. No, Kevin. Kevin says hi. Oh, oh, hello, well, hello, Kevin. Kevin Riddell says hi. Uh, hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> I'm your number one fan. Uh, it looks like we got Blindside Bricks in the chat. What's up? Uh, I caught a little bit of your stream last night, and I, I, I felt bad for Blindside. They must have had some troll problems, because uh, when I went on there, they he had like five dislikes on the stream and it sounded like they were having troll problems him and chap oh troll problems exactly it's like we do it you can't beat them and you can't sell them for parts uh kevin is taking care of business says and talk uh kevin riddell says that was a solid not salad it was solid uh, Somniac, I uh, seen that you got your package of Unikitties. Hopefully everything came all right. Uh, what was really weird is that uh, your package came a day. I sent two packages out. I had one going down to Miami and one going to Seattle. And Seattle got it the very next day. And you got it the following day. So it was weird. You know, with me being smack dab in the middle. Uh, it sounded like you were about to set up a math problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Point A to point B. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we got them deleted, but we'll get through it. And what's up, everyone else? Uh, at least, uh, yeah. Uh, we At one point, we had some major troll problems. Yeah, uh, I guess. I mean, if they like at least interact with your channel, that's getting you put out to more different people. It doesn't really matter if they like it, dislike it. You're still getting put it out because people are seeing – YouTube is seeing that you are – I don't know how to put this, like interacting with your friends or uh, something. Yeah, that yeah, shows that you you get that interaction. Yeah, I get that. Uh, Kevin Riddell says, well, I had better get some work done, so we'll see you later, everyone. Yep. The other Kevin is leaving. Uh, Somniac says, my mailman is special to say the least. I get mail sometimes from addresses 30 miles away. <laughs> wow. Tough. Uh, Kevin says, the other Kevin says, may the porgs be with you. Porgs, that's, <laughs> that's like a, uh, that's a Star Wars thing, right? It's like an animal type thing. Is it? Yeah. Oh, my. 
Whew, all right. He <laughs> was like, good evening. I'm out. Oh, man. I always forget. Always forget. <laughs> Dude, Jude is in the chat. And I, I just learned something new the other day that I didn't know that. Um, what's that weird guy that nobody likes in Star Wars? <laughs> Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks. I didn't know that Jar Jar Binks was the first like molded Lego head. Yeah. I didn't know that. Jar Jar Binks is awesome. <laughs> That's like the only thing I know about Star Wars. I don't know. Can you talk like Jar Jar Binks? No. Sorry, uh, I don't practice my room. Like, oh, I'm gonna sound like Jar Jar Binks today. You could, you could do, you could literally do anything, and he would believe you. Just seen it. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> exactly. You could just talk in your normal voice and go. This is my Jar Jar impersonation. Right? <laughs> no, I used to have a pretty spot on Jar Jar Binks. I know yeah, Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, he. he I used, used to, to have, have a pretty. Yeah. That's if you even you haven't even seen the films. How dare you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Here's my impersonation of a thing I've never seen. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, exactly. I'm a, I'm a petty winger. You got to do all the elbows. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey Jude. Uh, was is forever short the new name, Kevin? Uh oh, Brick Blaze. What the hell's a patty winger? Oh, can't hear oh, okay, here, Blaze. So guess what? We got somebody new. Yeah, here. we got somebody well, we're gonna new. Do, yeah. We're gonna take a break so he can introduce himself. Uh oh, you can't hear Blaze. <laughs> Kevin, can you uh, hear? Me? I can hear you. Oh, okay, so you can hear Misa Jar Jar Binks. You was a guy's not bad. Bomb bad generals. <laughs> That's a pretty cool shirt. I know, right? It says, "Don't look at me." On is it is on the back of it? Is he awake? No. It's disappointing, <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't you it's hate it when there's back. there's like you find a really cool thing, and then you're like, you you have a very logical follow up question to the thing, and it's always a no. It's like That's, That's really cool. Did it have? It's like there's that one more little thing. Like, does it do this? Like, no. Like, no, no, it doesn't. Unfortunately. All right, we got Blaze now. What's up, Blaze? Not a whole lot. Anybody notice anything different? Uh, yeah, I, I like, like everything. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all that fancy bins back there. I know. Are you being? I'm, I'm no longer there? streaming from over there. I spent the last couple hours moving crap around so I could move my table and all this stuff over here. If you if you're not if you need help, just blink. If you're in someone else, <laughs> if you're in someone I else moving this, you want to show up here and just help me rearrange the basement. If you're in someone else's house, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's mine. But now I'm right doing the thing, so I can be like, eh, oh, I'm done building that thing. Let me just grab another one from the pile and start working on. Hey, it's, Star it's Star Wars. Oh, what, what's the Wars of Stars? Clone Turbo Tank. Yeah, yeah that's, that, that's a thing. <laughs> I heard tank. Clone turbo tank. It's a big old thing. Oh my god, that's a lot of gray. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and some battle droids. That is I need like lot. forty more battle droids though. Oh yeah, always. <laughs> Somniac says uh, he said closer to the fridge. Smart move. <laughs> well, it's empty, unfortunately. And it's oh. also not going to be here for long. Man, um, didn't we? Didn't there's, we a, there's a Mario Tanuki uh, magnet on it, though. We just talked about this, Blaze. You're next to a fridge, and you're like, that's awesome. Is there anything in it? Nope. No. There's not anything. It's, like <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's going away to make room for more racks of Lego pieces. Well, that's also pretty good, then. Keep the fridge. <laughs> All right, so Malego in the in the chat says, "Is trading that Quidditch set for one ninety five with a few missing minifigures a good trade?" Depends on what you're trading for. It. Yeah, what are you trading it for? If it's for like one CMF, yes, that's a good deal. <laughs> if Midnight it's for a gold says, CMF, that's not a good deal. Midnight Catbrook says, "Oh my God, I'm laughing so hard." <laughs> good. I need a brick zipper to put on my stickers, dude. Really? I can't put stickers on without a brick zipper. Really? Kevin, I figured that was you that bought a shirt because I was like, oh, which one sold? Oh, it was the Hinkle original. <laughs> that was Kevin. <laughs> yep, yep. I got to put it in the portfolio. 
And then uh, I, I pulled a second shirt as well. Oh, very nice. Yep. I, I, I buy... think who, sold, who bought the second one because they sent me a picture of them doing it. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. I was telling uh, Julian the other day um, because I bought one of the sweaters and I was wearing it. And I was like, I actually, it's very rare for me to order the thing in my size because I'm not, I'm not necessarily buying it because I'm going to wear it. I'm buying it because I want to keep it in my portfolio to share later. And so I'll usually get the smallest size available just so I can fold it up and put it away. And so it's, it's like the shirt I bought from you is like, it's a size small. I'm never going to fit in it, <laughs> uh, but it's, it'll be folded and put neatly in a portfolio where it will sit. With it should other be shirts. framed and hung on the wall. Exactly, like basketball jerseys. Put them, put them up. <laughs> um, that's how we're going to do it. But, yeah, so I got one of those the other day. I was like, oh, yeah, I need to get that. Uh, I also bought Joey's uh, waffle design. Um, that I, So I just did that for him. He wanted a design for his three-hour waffle stream. <laughs> I don't know if you guys – you guys have seen this or heard of this story? No, um, I have not. I, I, wa I was there for watching that stream. <laughs> yeah, so it's our, our dear friend Joseph. Um, was doing a breakfast stream, and so he made himself a waffle, like uh, probably just you know regular Eggo waffle or whatever, and it took him three hours to eat it, and so that was the <laughs> that was the joke. Is they were like, how how are you still eating one waffle? It's been three hours, Joey. Uh, and so that's, that's about five now, minutes for me, and then the waffle's gone. It, yeah, so it's a joke. It's another joke, and so um, I designed a three hour waffle clock. For him, uh, and actually, I was like, "Man, I've got I got so many shirts, and I still want a thing with it." So I bought the pillow. So I have the pillow with the waffle clock. On a clock, you know that'd be cool. Yeah, an actual clock. Yep. yep. And he goes through yeah. what Teespring, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, but apparently they can't do hats because that's what he was told me the other day. That's a shame. We go through Spreadshirt.com. Yeah, we're Spreadshirt people. Yeah, me too. Spreadshirt will let me get away with a lot more things than uh, than Zazzle did. Zazzle pulled all my stuff off, even though, you know. Yeah, that's, that they did that to Julian as well. That's because you're suspicious, Nick. I know. Right? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think after Philly, when I get a little bit more money that I'm not conserving, I'm going to buy the uh, get, get these hands with the mini fig hands that you uh, have. Yeah, that, that one came out pretty cool. We've had a couple of those sales, so I like that one. I'm pretty sure you know some some hardcore Lego slash wrestling people would have liked that one. So oh yeah, and um, I was at because kids at school like um uh, they're surprised like I actually have a good YouTube channel like with <laughs> a lot of subscribers I guess. He says good YouTube channel. So, <laughs> and then they're like, you actually have merch. And I go, yeah. And she's like, how many you sell? I'm like, actually, we sell a lot. He's like, oh, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's so, it's a little bit of income that comes in from it. Uh, it's more income than we get from the actual channel itself. But. That means hey, they, now that they know, you need to go to school with the uh, shutter shades on <laughs> and the biggest puffiest coat you can find <laughs> <laughs> and like With have a Rolex you're just like <sighs> yeah and like have a really gaudy necklace like a dollar sign chain <laughs> and, and be like so now that you guys know who I really am I decided I no longer have to wear this facade <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to break this to you guys but uh, I'm kind of a big deal I I my family keeps me coming to the school to keep me grounded <laughs> uh, blindside says is spreadshirt expensive to get artwork done to put on our shirts so spreadshirt doesn't actually do the artwork you get the artwork done through some an artist. like you know like mr hinkle draws or or something like that and then you take the artwork to spreadshirt and then it's great they do all the work you don't have to do anything it's awesome yeah yeah it's it's pretty simple you know yeah you know, if it sells through their actual shop, you don't get as much of it if it sells through your shop. But still, you know, if you throw out an item, they print it, they ship it, everything. You don't have to worry about it. You can just get whatever fee that you put on that image. So They deemed my stuff not worthy to sell through their shop, only through yeah. my own. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Did you, did you put your name on it? No. no. 
Well, it shouldn't have had a. Oh, oh okay, because it, no, it's a cartoon face. It shouldn't have made any issues. Yeah. Oh well, maybe it actually says Brick Blaze on the hat, so that might be. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, because uh, with Spreadshirt, you can't like our the Brickhead family, where it says the Brickhead family, will not sell on their site. It'll sell through our shop. But other stuff I put on will sell through their shop. That's it's weird. It's weird how they de deem some stuff. Well, at first I didn't even realize, it, like, because you know it says uh, sell through their marketplace or open your own store, and I thought that was like me setting up a website. So I'm like, I don't want to do that. I want you to do the work. So I put yeah. just the marketplace, and then they're like, it's 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 declined. I'm like, so what? Why? <laughs> I like I bought one already. That should be you know. And then I figured it out. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm looking at this wrong. Got an iceberg down there in the chat. Right. No, not iceberg. It's been a long time. It's been like 15 hours since we last spoke to each other. <laughs> so so where are you at with subscribers, Iceberg? If you guys have not subscribed to Iceberg Bricks, subscribe because at 1,000 subscribers, he's going to be giving away Apocalyptic Berg at um, Philly, right? That is amazing. So if you right. haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe with all your subscribers that you can subscribe with. <laughs> can I win even though exactly. I'm Philly? Because <laughs> I'm in it to win it. I've already I signed up today in case it happens. I'm and I'm giving up. away stuff too. Oh, oh yeah, Blaze. Blaze, <laughs> if Blaze gets to a thought. I forgot about it. So many Wait, people. wait, when did Blaze get here? I, I, is that Blaze? Where, where, yeah, here? I don't see him. <laughs> All right, and if Blaze gets to a thousand subscribers, Blaze, what are you gonna do? I am giving away two fifty dollar gift cards, and Bricksmith is thrown in another fifty dollar gift card, and Fick and Bricks has thrown in another fifty dollar gift card. So if I hit a thousand by Philly, that's four winners that are gonna get fifty dollar gift cards. You Did you say four winners? Four winners. Now, Four if I don't winners. hit a thousand by Philly, then it's down to just the one fifty dollar gift card when I hit a thousand. So, so, if you have not subscribed to Brick Blaze, make sure to go and subscribe to Brick Blaze with all your subscribers that you can subscribe with. <laughs> <laughs> what What's your current number, Blaze? Uh, six eighty nine, I believe, as of today. Oh man, two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, I'll I'll stay optimistic. It can, it can, it can be done. It can be done because I'm taking. All of my business cards to Philly, and I'm just gonna be like, here, 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 here. Take it, take it. I'll make it rain business cards. Can, can you, I can get new business cards afterwards. <laughs> can you bring the Blaze merch gun and just shoot at people? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, like, as soon as you shoot them, they have Brick Blaze hats on and Brick Blaze shirts on. Batman. No, okay, great. And that's the Blaze, <laughs> the Blaze credit card. <laughs> oh, look at Belichick. Uh, you can't get chat. much with the Blaze credit card, that's for sure. Belichick it, in the chat says, I'm totally going to buy merch just to support during school. Belichick is a, a schoolmate of Jigglepuff here. Oh, uh, look at that. The fans are coming in. Yeah, yeah. I told you. I'm, I'm, I'm famous, you know. While I'm here, what's the answer to that homework assignment? <laughs> <laughs> what did and, you get uh, for that? Uh, Blind Size Brick says, so you don't have to do any shipping, and they do it all for you? And that is the best part about it. Yep. Yeah. Is I just put it out there, and it they do the work, and I just bring in a check every month. And I'm sure you know this already, Kevin, but uh, according to the site, your shirt has already shipped. Yep. Yeah, I got an email today, I think. <laughs> yeah, they got a pretty fast turnaround, too. Uh, so since you got some snow today, Nick, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just build this set. <laughs> yeah, that I could not believe that. I, I, was, holiday. I was working downstairs in the basement at work, and they're like, "You won't believe this, but it is snowing outside." I'm like, "Shut up!" You're like, "I, I do. shut the front door." I, I believe it. <laughs> Must have been because of that black hole they found. That's probably. I was a uh, Berkshire <laughs> posted a. Uh, Scientists discovered a black hole. He's like, can't believe it looks like a black hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Malego says the Brickhead family. I'm planning on trading for set number four one nine five with a few missing minifigures. What set is that? <laughs> Hold on. Set four one nine five. You got 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. Guys, I, I, put, I have, put, name, I have yeah, not looked Brixar. Brixar, you can tell Brixar a, a set number and you'd be like, oh, it was this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, name the set. Name it. I can't even remember my kids' names. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're like, oh, hey, you. I don't know his real name, but. What is it? 4159? 4195. Four, I got to mix that. See, Kevin doesn't even know. No, of course I don't. Uh, Queen Anne's Revenge, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, I want that. Oh. Do it. Yeah, I'd probably do that. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Just do it. Uh, Midnight Catbrick says it's time to break out the snowy sets again, right? And I just de-snowed right. our, our Palace Cinema. De-snowed. I de-snowed it. The snow blower. Yeah, exactly. We we got the the old you know brick separator snow blower. Put it. Uh, Malego says, "Okay, I will do it. Do it. Do it." Yeah, I would definitely do it. Just do it. Eh? Get through the job, but get through the job. Oh, uh. he's talking about like the 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 Harry Potter Quidditch set, the Target forty dollar one. Um, I guess if I think that's the one he said he's trading. Yeah, I would trade that for a Queen Anne's Revenge. Right. Uh, that that's totally lopsided. Especially because you can still get the Quidditch set. <laughs> right. Maybe they ran out. Uh, of Blindside says it was eighty degrees there today. Must nice. be nice. Must be nice indeed. We're not. I'm not flexing or anything, but it is eighty <laughs> degrees over here. <laughs> He goes, yep. Hey, man. Mr. Hinkle. Yep. How, how come, how come, hey, you get down. <laughs> how come sometimes they give you two skinny little books and then sometimes one giant novel? Why couldn't this have been just one big novel? Uh, well, most of the time that's because they want to split the buildup between people at the same time. Um, so a lot of times in city sets, you know, there's like five booklets because they want five people to be able to build at the same time. But if it's a set where it's not like that, I, I'm pretty sure that one's like a continuous, right? Like yeah. you, you could not split it up. It wouldn't work that way. I don't, um, let me look at the last page of book one. Oh no, actually it does split. It like ends with Santa and the sleigh. And then I guess the workshop is over here. Okay. I mean, there, there are examples of it. It's like middle of a building and then it starts another building or it starts the rest of the building. Um, in that case, it's probably like a cost thing or a, a production. It's easier or something like that. But normally, if the booklets are split up, it's it's to give more people the opportunity to build at the same time together. That's kind of the the hope and dreams. Well, don't they know that nobody does that? Nobody does that. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Because you know what? Because brick time is family time, guys. I thought right? family time was – Yelling in confusion in the beginning of a stream. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, Kevin? I'm trying to say I was thoroughly entertained. <laughs> it's like I, I. It's so great. It's like mass chaos. One of one singing a song. The other one's talking about a movie. It's just like all pandemonium for the first like five minutes. Great. Cats and dogs loving together. Exactly. Uh, Sarmiak says it's because they want to murder more trees. That's, yeah, that's probably it. All right, so Malego, the story behind Malego's thing is uh, my friend has no use for the Pirates of the Caribbean set, but as a nerd, so he wants the Harry Potter set. I'm just, dude. Nerd. I, I'm just, <laughs> nerd. I do it. Do it, do it. Do it. Just do it. Just do it. <clears throat> Midnight Cat Brick says, poor trees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blind Size Brick says, super nice, fellas. I'm going surfing next weekend. Awesome. Everybody nice. washing. Surfing. Surfing. Yeah. Let me, I will go get the water bottle. I guess I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> Uh-oh. I, I threaten my kids with the water bottle all the time, too. I'm going to spray you. <laughs> Dad, get off that couch. <laughs> Dad, we don't, we don't have enough subs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not my fault, Father. <laughs> so, so Kevin, you got your speech all ready for Chicago? I still haven't even started, man. Oh, but I, I had an idea though. 
so I really want it to be funny. I mean, that's the thing. I want people to laugh because there is, I've been through many keynotes at Brick World, and the worst thing is the boring keynotes. Yeah. That's so, I mean, even if you learn something, not to say that like that's not a benefit in it, in it of itself, but like if you don't laugh, like people don't remember it and they don't really talk about it. So I want to, I want to make people laugh. And so I was talking to Brian and he was like, are you going to use PowerPoint? I said, I, I was probably going to use PowerPoint, but I'm kind of inspired by the recent uh, Congress hearings where the, where the Congress people were using like photos of Aquaman and like <laughs> babies, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the insanity. Yeah. And so I kind of want to print out giant poster boards of insane things and having evil there. And just kind of use that. I don't know. Um, but no, I haven't even started it. Uh, you you got to get through Philly first, right? I, I do. I got to get through that and then I can. Because um, that'll be the next event, actually. I'm not going anywhere in May. So that'll be. Yep. Yeah, cause we'll, uh, I'll be going to Philly and then our next one will be uh, will be Chicago. I'm also going to Philly and then uh, my next one is who knows. You're not going to Chicago? No, I can't afford two trips in one year. Not even a, like a public, like a public day. That's still that's another five hour drive for me, and like a day or so off of work. I, uh, so that's a no. That's a no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a no. Two people will think again. I wasn't listening. Uh, so, I, how far are you from Bettendorf, Iowa? What's up? I said, how far are you from Bettendorf, Iowa? Couldn't tell you. I've never tried to look that up. All right, because it looked like it was sort of like down towards the bottom part of Iowa, towards Missouri, Missouri, misery. Misery, yeah, it's misery. Yeah, um, because the week after Brickworld, we're going to be at a convention called Planet Funk Con. Planet Funky Time. Planet <laughs> Funk Con. <laughs> It's gonna be a comic convention, comic slash toy convention down there. Nice. And they get it's a three day convention where they get about four to five thousand people pass through them those three days. I guess it's the biggest convention that comes through Iowa. Not not saying a lot of things come through Iowa. Yeah, not much comes through Iowa. Oh, uh, so we not, they got the heck out of Iowa. <laughs> but uh, we uh, hold on a second. I'm letting this guy. Get his crinkling out of the way. I'm not even crinkling that loud. Stop. Crinkle, crinkle. Exactly. All I hear uh, is. <laughs> the what? There you go. See? Holy. All, that's all you had to do, dude. Holy. Yeah. <laughs> Woo uh, but uh, we are going to be hosting a, a, not just a table at this convention, we're hosting an entire Lego section of this convention. Uh-oh, pressure's on. Yep. <laughs> they are going to be uh, bringing in a ton of Lego where people can come in and build stuff and take it home with them and stuff like that. So, so you're yeah. you're the um, you're the the kids play area. Yeah, basically. Yes. That's <laughs> yes. Yeah, yep. I uh, you'll have to let me know when you have your first mom that's like, thank you guys so much for watching him, and then they walk away and you're like, wait. No, 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 hold on. What, what's, the, what's the name of the town? Bettendorf, Iowa. B-E-D-D -D or T-T? T-T-E-N-D-O-R-F. Bettendorf, Iowa. There it is. Let's see here. Three hours yeah. and 52 minutes. Oh, I thought it was closer to you than that. I think that's what it looks like here. You're not going to go to that, Blaze, and not go to Brickroll. I'll never forgive you. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's three hours fifty two minutes. No, I if I were to pick one, I would go to Brick World. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm just saying. I, I just thought it was a little bit closer to you than that. Yeah, the the rest of my vacation time that I get from work will be used in October because that's when my anniversary is, and uh, we'll be together for twenty years, married for fifteen. So there you go. Planning, time. Planning Fine. A cruise, you know. <laughs> Gotta Fine. Happy no, wife. Like happy it. wife. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm well aware. <laughs> the Lego says, are the Harlem Huskies the Jigglepuff school mascot? Oh, we're getting boxed, aren't we? Yeah, you're getting boxed now, dude. 
Yes, I am a Harlem Husky alum. My oh. son. All right. Uh, was it Blindside says I'll be back. I've got to make some dinner. Enjoy. Uh, Dinner's good. Nine, nine o'clock their time. I got an extra set of beard. Yay! <laughs> oh, and I must be reading back in this chat. Bricktomic says, uh, "So what you're saying is that it's a maybe?" Yeah, that, that was about me going to Brickworld. Oh, so okay. you're saying there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I really <laughs> wish there could be, but no. have you ever gone to Brickworld as a exhibitor, Blaze? Uh, no, just the this is public. One and only Lego convention I've ever been to was Brickworld 2017, where you and I had a discussion for a while, and that was just public time, right? Exactly. Man, haven't even taken the plunge. <laughs> all right, you're no. still uh, you're still on the side, going, look at all these people swimming in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> man that looks refreshing <laughs> you know, really i'm like my god i wish i had that much talent and money oh so you're okay so you're you're sitting there with your sunglasses and going my god yeah look at all this <laughs> look at all of it i want this but all. the thing is blaze is that we have neither talent nor money and we still good and man. they're in the pool yeah, we're in the pool. Well, I, I'm. I, hey, I'm just jumping full on. Well, no, I'm not. I guess I'm dipping my feet in because uh, I'm, I'm bringing a small mock to put on Julian's table with his stuff. That's the. Uh, you know, there's the the pool, and then there's the one foot pool next to it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you, so you can get. The I'm sitting the on costume. the steps with my feet in the shallow end, waiting to just go wade out to the deep end. Uh, so you're not ready for adult swim yet. Well, I will watch that channel every day. <laughs> yeah. uh, what? Her a day. Her a day. Yeah, speaking of that, that Benton North Iowa convention, the guy that voices Frylock will be there. Oh, we'll see. Oh. Now that changes things. No. <laughs> In that case, I I, actually, I would love to go there and. Uh, Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my DVD for uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force colon movie film. I'm gonna bring that to Philly, and then Nick can take it home with him, have it signed by that guy, and then mail it to me. Yeah, I can do that. Ah, uh, that'd be awesome. I used yep. to. I, it's been a long time, but I used to be able to do a good Meatwad impersonation. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Bridge. Yeah, it's all about it. cross the meat bridge. The meat looks not sound too. That's right. <laughs> Are you Fine. sure that wasn't Jar Jar Binks? Fine. Don't cross the bridge. <laughs> you don't know. You haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, moon master. What it's having made me laugh. <laughs> so, um, I hope you, you can see this. I'm doing it as hard as I can. Exactly. Do do either of you? Do, does anybody here play Pokemon Go? Uh, I, I I dabble in it. Put it that way. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be acceptable. I'm not. Me. I'm not playing it religiously. Like I haven't played it in a week because, frankly, I find the game kind of useless. I'm like, what am I doing with all these Pokemon that I'm catching? Okay. Just no, that, space on my phone. That's fine. That's fine. I, um, and then I I was playing just so I could transfer the stuff over to the Switch game. Yeah, I haven't played that very much. So the only reason I downloaded it is because in May of last year they said, "Oh, by the way, that non-canon game is canon now because we have a new game coming out and you can turn transfer them all over." I was like, "Dang it!" Yeah. Uh, I was like, "Now I got to play that thing," but um, so I was playing it, which I'm playing. I've been playing it since then, and I live in a very small town. You know, it's not like I, I'm surrounded with hundreds and hundreds of people. So I, I was down at the, um, the post office, which is a gym, and I live right next to my post office. And I beat the person, knocked him out, and put my Pokemon in there. And I started to walk away. And then this Jeep pulled up, and then the gym got attacked. And my Pokemon <laughs> got kicked out. And I know, I know darn well who did it. I'm staring, okay. at the person, I'm staring at the person in the Jeep. And I'm like, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'll just wait. And so I wait, and then I kick him out, and then he waits and kicks me back out again. I'm like, all right. 
that's, this is this is the game we're playing. That's fine. Um, <laughs> you know what reminds me of that one SpongeBob episode where uh, SpongeBob and uh, Squidward fight for the manager, where they're trying to like uh, make each other like go to sleep so the one could go to work at least. Oh yeah, work. yeah. It, yeah. So what's funny is this morning. So now I've done. Me and this person have tangled now for a couple weeks. Um, we've never spoken to each other. We just keep beating each other up, um, and. Out of for some bizarre reason, um, other people in the same group as me actually took over this post office. I, I'm like, you know, usually pretty outnumbered by the other team, and so I was like, wow, there's actually four or five other people here that are in my team, and this guy's not in that team. And so his Jeep showed up, and I was like, yeah, here it is. Come on in, come on in. Um, but uh, this was early in the morning, so they were all like all weak and dying. And so I'm like, wa like watching his Jeep pull up, and I'm like, oh no! So <laughs> like, I him real quick. And so I started like throwing like golden raspberries at everybody. I was like, here you go, here you go. <laughs> and it's like, um, so like all of them shot up like thousands of uh, of whatever it is CP. And then I just sat there and I stared and waited. And he, like, he like went and took the items, and then he didn't fight the gym and he drove away. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we took so, over the post off. <laughs> No, he didn't. He he just took the items and, and drove off. Like he couldn't he couldn't battle. <laughs> I was like, yeah, keep moving. <laughs> the Sprint store that's right next to my work is is a a poke stop, but it's not a gym. So I yeah. can hit it like a whole bunch every day, and it used to just give out item or uh, gifts like crazy. Yeah, I haven't got a gift from that thing in like a week. So now it's like I bet everybody on my friends list thinks I hate them because I'm not sending them gifts anymore. It's because I haven't got any. I I thought you hated me. <laughs> I think I sent one another one today. Finally, like I got, or maybe yesterday. Well, my other. I don't even think I have you on my list. We should we should exchange friend codes. That that can't be true. Is it true? Yeah, I think it's true. I I am deep shame. Um, <laughs> I think oh, no no. Let me tell you. Let me tell you deep shame. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell a story now, and you all are gonna be so hating me, just like I hate myself. Okay. So I w rolled into work last week, and I had like five minutes before work, and I brought up Pokemon Go real quick before I go in. I was like, I'll hit the Focus Stop before you clock in. There's two Squirtles. I was like, oh cool, I'll just catch them right quick for the candies. So I hit the button, threw the ball, wasn't even looking at it, you know, and it, whoop, it caught and I reached into my glove box to grab all my stuff to go into work, and yeah. I was like, okay, I don't need the squirtle, I hit the button to send it to the professor yeah. and it didn't go, and I hit the, it had a, like a notification that popped up, I hit the notification, and when I released my finger, I saw that it said, are you sure you want to send this shiny to the professor? And by that time, it was too late. I had sent the shiny squirtle to the professor. <laughs> and I'm sad. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I, don't, uh, I don't think we can talk anymore, please. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. it's been it's been an honor. That and, was only uh, the second shiny ever in the history of any Pokemon game that I've ever found. And you and you threw it in the garbage for <laughs> a candy, for, for for a hard candy, you know that. For a, for some candy. <laughs> I, you were I'm like, really hungry. I, that guy's got to eat candy. You're like, can I please have a piece of caramel? It's like, <laughs> okay, but it's going to cost this thing. It's like, whatever like, it takes. It's worth it. <laughs> uh, all right, let me see. Uh, friends, what's your what's your username? Is it Brickblaze? Nope. What is it? Uh -huh. It's my non Lego username for things. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. What is that? Super secret. Super secret. Uh, looks like Hoosier said that he was going to join, but he's been working major hours, so he's not going to. He's going to bed. He, he just doesn't like us. That's all. No. Uh, Garage Land, I didn't know it was here. Welcome to the chat. It says that's what golden raspberries are for. Yep, exactly. All right. Oh my God, there's a portrait by my house. Um, and Malego says, Mr. Hinkle draws, you need to draw a comic about that epic battle. Exactly. What's your friend number code thing? Okay. Uh, all right. You ready? I'm ready. We're just taking over this Brickhead family. Right. Stream. Um, <laughs> hold on. I was going through all my friends to see if you were in there, and you were not. I am not. Uh, okay. My number eight. Anyone listening, you can also join in. 
I was just gonna say, is this safe to That's do? That's fine. Yeah, no. Uh, eighty four ninety nine. Eighty four ninety nine. Eighty nine oh nine. Eight nine oh nine. Ninety seven twenty five. Seven twenty five. Send. Oh look at you guys are friends now. Ah, I said this up for you, guys, Mr. Official. you guys are pokey friends. We are. Those are the special. Friends. Don't be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my I played it like, in the game. game for, you know, I played it, and then I was like, "This is boring," so I gave up on it. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even speak the language. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I do what I want. This one. Uh, yeah. It's funny because Victor was insistent. He's like, we got to be friends. I'm like, okay. And then we were, and like, I sent him a gift day one, and he still to this day hasn't opened it. So we're like, we're nowhere, like, we're not a, a, at all registered in any friendship level. It's just <laughs> like, why, why was it so important to you? <laughs> it was just important. Can you explain it? Uh, Iceberg says, who's your friend? And then uh, Brixomniac says, I have one shiny and one ninety nine Charma Charmander. 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 I have one shiny, and it's a, uh, a Chikorita, I believe. Could have had, could have had two. I could have had two. Now, like I, had in the real had game, I have some shinies in the real games, but only the ones where they like give you give them out as a free code at GameStop or Target or whatever. Yeah. I've never actually caught one. No, I I have. I've caught one ever. In uh, I think it, it was either black or white. I don't remember. But I was like, "Is this?" It don't matter if it's black or white. Is is this real? <laughs> it's like, am I dreaming? Um, but it was like it legit. happened with the chikorita for me. It was. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? It's like legit. Like you're out there in the wild. Well, yeah, I was at work at my other job at Taco Bell, and uh, one of the other guys there plays and. I was like, hey, look, uh, I was showing him something in the game. And then I turned it, uh, exit out of the screen. I'm like, oh, hey, look, there's a Chikorita. I'm going to catch that real quick. And then I caught it and I was like, wait a minute. Hey, what color is Chikorita supposed to be? It's like, that, you're, like yeah. you're like green or something. I'm like, well, not this one. <laughs> something. Wrong. Like all colors, like it's yellow with brown leaves and stuff. Uh, you're so like, this, is my oh, cool. this isn't the right to... color. I should probably run away from this. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic says mine is a dush call randomly popped up. A that... dust call. D -d Douche? D -d dush call? It, it's supposed to be dust call. Oh, okay. <sighs> <laughs> There's that audible sign from Kevin again. Man, you're two for two today. <laughs> <laughs> two for Tuesday. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, so, uh, Blaze, what uh, what time do you plan on coming up here on uh, Tuesday? Uh, what time do you want me to be there, dude? I don't. I'm I'm off. Yeah, me too. So, uh, uh, any time you want me there, I can be there. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. You know, it, just, no, I'm just gonna dethrone you as the sexiest man in Rockford when I get there. <laughs> the the moment you step foot on over the town line. Uh, <laughs> somebody, somebody comes out. It's like when they're changing the population numbers. Like, <laughs> it's like new, new governor. You have to like cross. Sorry, them Nick, off. Nick goes down a notch. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Nick's, Nick's out there like, what are you doing? And the guy <laughs> on the ladder's like, you know the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. It is what it is. He's, he's New Yorker for some reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I, I became a New Yorker all of a sudden. Yeah, I, I don't no, care. The guy on the ladder, dude. Uh, no, the guy on the ladder, the guy who's changing, he's taking your picture off and replacing it with Blake. He's like, I'm sorry, man. That's just how it is. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, but like I said, Blaze, anytime on that Tuesday is good for me. So. No, you pick the time. You pick the time. No, uh, I was picking no, the time. No, you pick the time. It's, um, it's uh, it's coming up, isn't it? It's like what yeah. is it? like two weeks from now. Less, less yes, than two weeks. Blaze will be, well less than two weeks, weeks from yesterday. I'll be at Nick's house. Yeah, sometime. <laughs> two weeks from tonight, we should already be in Philly. Yes, you'll be there Wednesday. Yeah. Uh huh. 
So we're gonna we're gonna if leave we her early enough. We can go to Hard Rock Cafe and eat with Julia. Yep. Yes. I could eat. I've heard of these plans. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we'll be there. We'll be there Wednesday as well. But it does not take us as long. It's a five-hour drive for me. Oh yeah. See, well, you got to tack on another. I don't know, so you could up. drive there, drive back home, and drive there again in about the time it's going to take us to drive there. Maybe I'll do that in celebration of your drive. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably going to take us about. It says like we could get there in twelve and a half hours, but you know between gas. There's going to be stopping places and. Yeah, so it'll probably be about 13, 13 and a half. I'm sure Butt Chop's going to do something crazy like hang out the car and it fall out and we're going to have to go pick him up and yeah. it's gonna be a whole thing. I, I expect at least at least one bizarre tourist trap video <laughs> where you're like, all right, everybody, uh, Brickhead family here, um, just me. And we are currently at the world's tallest ball of yarn. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I want one. It can be anything. Mystery <laughs> spot, world's largest chair, um, the, the the strange creature you can't see unless you pay 10 bucks is behind a curtain. <laughs> you got to be something. You got to see something on the way. What, what I think is funny is everyone's expecting just like an absolute crazy car ride. Like, oh my God, these three together is going to be nuts. I'm like, we just need to do like completely calm civil videos. We all got like tea and saucers with pinkies <laughs> out. Like, Oh, this car ride is delightful today. We got Mozart playing on the <laughs> um, Blaze, could you look at my etchings? <laughs> ah, yes. The uh, the chiaroscuro on that is quite divine. <laughs> could you play us the Grey Poupon, please? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That'll oh, be fun. Garage Land put his code in the uh, chat there. Oh. I guess I should open it. All right, let's see. I didn't even have the video open. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, but I already liked it. Kevin. Uh, let's see. Oh, me and Kevin Hinkle are now friends. Yay. Hey. Hey, everybody. Friends. Friends. Hey, Nick, could you do me a favor? What's up? Uh, could you read his code out of the chat? So can... <laughs> yeah, just give me one second. Sure. That way, Kevin and I can both get it at the same time. I just did it. I sent it off to Garage Blank. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then uh, Kevin, tell me what his code is. All right, it is 68 one four. Send. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> more? No, <laughs> that's too many. Uh, it says invalid trainer code. Uh, DMK Max is in the chat. What's up? It worked for me. Okay, well, re read me the code you sent him again. Six eight zero three eight zero three six six eight three or six six eight nine. I'm sorry. Eight nine. Okay. Three six one four. Three six one four. There we go. There it is. Did I not read it right? No, no, you didn't. <laughs> That's what Doc's hammering right there. Indeed, with a crow gunk. Crow gunk. Look at you guys all nerding out over here. Nerd. I don't apologize. I have no regrets. <laughs> no regrets. Uh, DMK Mox says, nothing much, just finishing my Mox for Brick World Chicago 2019. Oh, there. <laughs> I'm going to be one of those one-trick ponies that takes the same Mox that I've taken to Philly to Chicago. That's all right. That's I would say there's plenty of uh, land coverage between those two events. All right. As we got our left shark Mox. Then we got our pop up book that was supposed to be a collab, ended up being just a, a me thing. <laughs> Which is funny because other people are doing some pop up books still, though, aren't they? Uh, Haley said that she had bought pieces for it, but, <laughs> but, but never did it. Um, if, if that's the qualifications, I thought about it. <laughs> I thought a couple times about it. Does that count? <laughs> I'm so glad that I didn't 
you know, try to buy pieces for that and try it. She tried yeah. to do it. She's like, come on, do it. I was like, I'm trying to save all my money to buy stuff while I'm there. And I don't think I have the skills to build a pop up book. It just doesn't. I've had my gun since before Christmas. So. <laughs> I didn't know I was going at that point. Uh, DMK Max says, I'm bringing Star Wars, Max. The profile picture tells you that I love Star Wars. That's, That's a movie, Nick. <laughs> That's a movie? <laughs> Which yeah. been since they made Lego sets out of it. Yeah, they, they keep making the same Lego sets over and over and around, but my not saying anything. My mock's not a full on mock, I guess. It has four parts to it. One of them is one hundred percent my own creation. The other three parts to it are like recolors of stuff that with slight modifications that Lego did. Uh, Garage Land goes, is somebody building Christmas? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. What? It it's snowed at Nick's house today. And <laughs> now we're, we're celebrating the, the April snow with, uh, with a Christmas build. What's this? What's I thought this? I was going to have to <laughs> re-snow my, 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 my modulators here. Uh, hold on. Work is calling. Uh oh. Uh, Blaze, you forgot that you're supposed to be in here at eight o'clock tonight. Right. How's that uh, Quidditch match going? It's very colorful. <laughs> you get a lot of colored bricks, that's for sure. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's repetitive. Yeah, times four. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Did you build this one, Kev? Nah. Nah. I don't. I don't have any of the Harry Potter, the new Harry Potter sets. I have no. a lot of the old one. Uh, I'm not really a big Harry Potter fan. I love Harry Potter. Harry Potter is awesome. No, I'm kind of. I, I drug my feet on getting Harry Potter sets because I'm like, all right, you know, yeah, I can. I'll buy them, you know, sparingly. So I picked up like the Spider set, picked up the yeah. Quidditch set, and then I'm like, all right, well, I'm waiting for sales on like the, uh, the okay. train and stuff like that, and it's like. Okay, now they're threatening that more Harry Potter sets are coming out, so yeah. the Harry Potter sets will be going away. So I've seen some leaked images. Uh oh. There's definitely more. Yeah. I just want a Hagrid. That's all I want. My kingdom for a Hagrid. <laughs> uh, Somniac put in a code out there now. I don't know if you've got. Kevin. Oh. Oh. Oh, hold on. There we go. Uh, DMK Mark says, we got five inches of snow, and I live in Wisconsin, and I know you live in the state by me. So how much snow did you get? I will say we got a dusting of snow, and it is now gone. So we had like a, a mix it was like an ice snow mix so. Ooh, is that called a do you also call it a wintry mix a wintry mix <laughs> that's yes. what that's what they call it here in new england even if it's not winter it's a wintry mix uh asian mint says yo nick are you going to brick world chicago but of course we are that will be a a brickhead family thing we are chicago will be our every year thing unlike philly where it's just a daddy brickhead thing <laughs> Bro, <come> salty, <laughs> salty, 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 salty. Hey, well, could you uh, pass the salt? <laughs> <laughs> when you were out of school, bro, then uh, then you can go to Philly. Until they move Philly to out of school days, then uh, that's the thing. Oh wait, oh. <laughs> I think I'm coming down with something. I can't go to school. So who's going to watch me when I'm home? You know, oh, I also have that same problem. I'm usually pretty good at knowing when I'm going to be sick two and a half weeks out. Um, <laughs> it, it's kind of an amazing talent. <laughs> no talent. No talent. It's it's coming. I can feel the sickness. <laughs> uh, DMK Max says he saw mini fig leaks for... I Probably guess. the Harry Potter stuff. I'm, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, Asian Mint says, I need to find some public transportation to Schaumburg. Yes. <laughs> so are you trying to talk Julian to coming to Chicago this year? Um, no, I mean, I haven't been pushing him. But I, I've told him that at some point he should go to it just yeah. to just experience it. Um, yeah. I offered him the couch, so. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I, I haven't been pushing him, but I said, you know, he should definitely experience it. Um, same thing as Virginia. I think that one's a little bit more realistic as well, um, just for, you know, logistics sake. Because I, I truly believe every, every fan should once in their life experience the big three. Yeah. You don't have to go every year. You don't have to go um, more than once, but I think it really does help kind of give you a overview of, of, you know, they're in three different spots in the country. They have giant, giant pockets of AFL activity. It's like, oh. okay, all right. And then you can settle in wherever you want to settle in. <laughs> Did I hit him? No. You went over him. You're good. Yeah, and, and you said the big three were, well, you said Virginia, Chicago, and Seattle? Uh, BrickCon in Seattle, yep. Okay. Yeah. BrickCon is actually the longest running Lego fan convention in North America. Oh, wow. So it's, um, I think it's either 20 years now or 21, 22 years. Oh, wow. Um, it's kind of amazing. They hold it in the what's called the Seattle Center, which is directly underneath the Space Center or Space Needle. So you can like walk out and you're like, oh, look, there's a Space Needle. Oh, that's cool. A Space Needle? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so, Blaze, do you got going to work now? No. No, it's just people not knowing how to solve <laughs> issues. That's what they do, man. That's how it is. Well, in my case, it was a customer not knowing how to work his own stuff he bought, and then the other employee not knowing how to tell him how to fix the problem. And it <laughs> yeah, those are always the best. becomes Blaze's problem. And yep, exactly. Because the boss is on vacation this week, so I'm in charge. Uh, there you go. Uh, DMK Mox in the chat says, I was in your guys' day one vlog at the Mixer, and I was in your vlog at the Darth Vader transformation set draft. I had no clue who you guys were, though. What were, your, what were you thinking of these guys, though? Give honest opinion. Yeah, yeah go ahead. <laughs> You're like, what are these guys doing? Are you camera? And they're just yelling a lot? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. That except for when he went to the library, he wasn't yelling there. He was keeping quiet. <laughs> it's uh because there's those videos of you guys like uh, hyping up, hyping up the crowd. Yeah. And, and one of them, it's like it's pretty good. Like people are like playing into it, and then there's the other one where it's like the crowd's not really playing into it. Yeah. They're, they're <laughs> like, just, we don't. What is this? What, what is this? <laughs> you just you just have this one guy screaming at him. <laughs> He's like, are you guys ready for let's this, go? Does this happen everywhere? Oh, is this the right event? <laughs> <laughs> and they, they pull their children closer to them. Yeah, exactly. Hold <laughs> hold your children close tighter. <laughs> Why he, is this gentleman getting all upset and yelling? I don't get it. He's wearing a bright yellow shirt and just yelling at people. <laughs> We're gonna be right over there at that table. <laughs> <laughs> So you better get your kids over here and say how it was. Here's a sticker. <laughs> like, uh, uh. <laughs> All right, so DMK Mox did say honest opinion. He goes, I don't know. No. <laughs> That's what I would say. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about these guys. <laughs> hey, at least it wasn't meh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, right. It wasn't like, uh, yeah, these, yeah, you guys suck. But, okay. Oh, so you you did. Um, if I remember your videos, you were in one of the drafts, right? Like you did one of the drafts. Yeah, the um, kids got addicted to it last year. It was, cool. was was Tony there? The guy with the long beard, bald. Yeah, he, yeah, he was during the um, the was it the Star Wars? No, not the Star Wars one. He was there for the Ninjago one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey Juan, what what Unikitty do you need? 
I also need one unity. He needs the one with the sunglasses. I'm, I'm, I might have that one. I need the one with the... Uh, I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> Tell, me, tell me what you need, Blaze. Tell me what you I don't need. Know what it is. Right here. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool. So Tony, Tony is the he's like the second in command of Brick Fair. So Todd, Todd owns it, and then Tony does like all of the logistics. Cool. I need the the number one, the one with like the stars and stuff on her. The one on the brick in the wall. <clears throat> Hold on. Yes. You mean this one, Blaze? You're talking about this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's the that's the one. I need. If you give them a donation, they'll send you that one. Yeah, with only a super chat. But I'm sure <laughs> I could buy it for fifty cents online somewhere. Uh, no, I doubt you could buy it online for fifty cents now. You're gonna buy it because someone else got it for fifty cents. <laughs> this is true. And they're gonna ask for seventy-five cents. Uh, maybe that'd be kind of cool if they did. I, I like, paid I... three cents for sixteen of them. Three cents each. And I own all sixteen of them, and still don't have a whole set. You pay exactly. I bought almost a hundred of them, and I only got two complete sets. Did you say th like three cents as in three pennies? Yes, three pennies. Sixteen unikitties for three pennies each. Where did you find them for three cents each? Uh, Walmart. Wow. I it, it was the right place, right time. They were. It was like marked down to a, a point where, and they were the girls were working in toys at that time, supposedly pulling all the stuff that's three cents to get shipped back to their warehouse, and those were hadn't been pulled from the shelf yet. Nice, along with a, a transformer and uh, several several poly bags. I never get like cool markdowns like that. Yeah, me neither. And they're all going home with me. I I go and I'm like. I heard there's a sale on Unikitty figures. They're like, oh, we've actually marked them up five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So you didn't see my video where I uh, had everybody guess how much I paid for that big haul with all the Unikitties and all the poly bags. I don't remember that. I think three cents. I probably would have passed out. Maybe I did watch it and passed out. <laughs> <laughs> and I came back and I'm like, did I just watch something? <laughs> Uh, Nerdbrick101 is in the chat. He goes, I have to have 1K subs to stream from my phone now. Yep. Uh, Lego Freak is in the chat, and so is Shiny Bricks. And Ooh, a dollar for a bright green base plate. That's pretty good. I think I spy it. Do I spy a Hope Castle in there, too, lurking around? Yep, yep. yep. Hope Castle's in there. What's up, Reed? <clears throat> uh, yeah, YouTube policy changed, yep. It, it's to keep the uh, riff raff out of the streams, or you know, starting up their own streams and just messing around. They they think that if you're at a thousand subscribers, then you know you're serious. You're that's false. <laughs> yeah, it's completely false. The riff raff for the ones that have a thousand subscribers. <laughs> yeah, listen, to this guy. Yes, that is false. The Brickhead family have over a thousand subscribers and they still don't know what they're doing on YouTube. And their channel is 99% riff raff. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Pretty much. Pretty much. You don't welcome come to, for actual content. I am riff and this is raff. And welcome <laughs> yeah. to the riff raff. Riff and I am raff. Dollar general markdown, the one cent and three cents for stuff. What? I told you we should have gone to Dollar General, but you don't listen to me. Well, the last time I went to Dollar General, they didn't have any Lego anymore. Yeah, but that was last time. This is now. Could have done that stuff. <clears throat> yeah, uh, who uh, Somniac says you can still do it from your computer at at a thousand, but I. Uh, but the thing is, is that I don't. I think you can cause more troubles when you're out on just your phone. I'm guessing, right? Yes. No? Is this sound? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, Asian Mint says uh, Asian Mint's chilling at 76. 76 subscribers? I'll tell you what, that, that thousand, uh, you know, I Blaze and Iceberg and Holland and Ballin and Hoosier, that first thousand is the hardest to get to. And then once you hit that, it's yeah. like somebody flipped his. Flips the switch and yours is like, wow. Right. 
Yeah, it's, it's a grind to get to that first thousand. Because we sat, it. we sat at like what nine fifty forever. Yeah, and then we just like. Nope. <laughs> uh, Nerd Brick says no, I don't have a computer, so he can't stream. Uh, you can join other people's streams if you don't have a thousand. Even if you're on your phone, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how that. Um, my five below has poly bags at five dollars. Sorry, Somniac. I don't have an extra one of the shades when I only have one. Yeah, that we don't have any extra shades one. I because I sold the uh, eleven to to Somniac because <laughs> he had one and I sold eleven to him and I'm like, dude, I just don't have the shades one. Or no, I sold ten of them to him. Blaze, can you comment in the chat? I can. Ooh. Secret, secret. Secret secrets. I don't know. I'm just reading. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading it. All right, so DMK is uh, he's seeing see a friend. <laughs> well, that's appropriate. <laughs> Comment in the chat. <laughs> All right, so yeah, if you guys are, are late to the game today, like I said, we we did add a new brick to our another brick in the wall wall. We added uh, Chad's brick hobby. And by by request of Hoosier, we put it on a pink brick. That's interesting. Is that how that works? <laughs> well, he, I gave him the option. I'm, I'm like, uh, Chad, what color brick do you want? And he never answered. So oh, okay. Hoosier goes, you should put it on a pink brick. So he's got the pink brick. Very interesting. No takesies backsies, unless he's gonna make another donation. <laughs> yeah. Did you did you call you called Staples already? Yeah, it's locked in. <laughs> Staples has been called, everybody. We're not going back now. Uh, shiny Bricks. It's a shameless plug. Shameless plug for... Secret Squirrel. I don't get it. <laughs> uh, Melky Barkid. When I was a child, my friend had two bedrooms packed full of craziest Lego I've ever seen. His family was very rich. I wonder if he still has it. No, it's just send it over. Yeah, know. yeah. You know, we we take Lego donations. We give them a good home. Uh, Juan says, "I want two by four trans neon green." When I super chat, is that Ooh. a thing? Is that a thing? Oh, you will make it a thing. <laughs> <laughs> give the people what they want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that's an expensive brick if there is one. Yeah, probably is. They have to use two, uh, one by twos to make the two, uh, one by four. Yeah. Oh no, he wants a two by four. So yeah. So yeah, we got two by twos. Yeah, we got a bunch of the two by twos. Well, uh, <laughs> well, all right. Um, I am going to take my leave and oh. uh, call Sorry, call Kevin. Todd and finish up this brick fair project and get that finished up. Hey man, uh, well, I appreciate but, you. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, everybody, stay classy, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next show. one. <laughs> stay classy on the show. Bye, Kevin. See you, Kevin. Thanks Bye. for having me. Bye, Blaze. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace right. out. Have a good one, Kevin. All right. So, yeah, we'll, we'll stream. We'll go on another about 10 minutes, uh, 9 Central Time. We'll, we'll call it into the stream. Uh, so yeah. you the kids said, yeah so whenever you want to show up here on that tuesday uh blaze it's up to you man okay yeah i will uh say i ain't got i ain't got anything going on so we'll, uh, if anything you know we'll, we'll hop on a stream or something yeah i was like i'll come up way early you should get that grand theft auto installed and, and play with julian and i yeah well it, it's it's installed okay yeah i that i installed it that one night and then uh every time you guys get on it uh, the somebody else has a TV, so oh, uh, you were online. I don't know, one day like last week, we were playing Lego City. I sent you a, a chat invite, but you did not respond. 
Oh, look, the kids were playing it. Oh, that one wasn't me. I wasn't even playing League. Of City. I haven't even played League of City. It was your brother. What you you let them play on your account? Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that if they click on to the PlayStation and it whatever account it's on, that's who they're gonna log in and play on. Oh yeah, see, I, I'm completely anal about that. I'm like, that is my account. You do not play games on my <laughs> account. You will play games on your account. I'm just kind of used to medium brickhead just playing on my account. No, like I want to earn all the trophies, please. Yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> I've only platinum one game, and that was Lego Dimensions, and he hasn't played it. I mean, platinumed it yet. I haven't platinumed that one, but I've platinum like, 23 others, I think. Holy smokes. You're yeah. not flexing. <laughs> yeah, you're not flexing at all. <laughs> Spider-Man was the latest one I got a platinum one. Oh, nice. But I don't have all the trophies because I haven't got all the trophies out of the DLC. But I got the platinum out of the main game. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so you finished your Harry Potter? Yeah. All right. It's a iffy set. You know. An iffy set? Yeah. It's not that good, but it, it's pretty cool. It's not that good, but it's not it's that good, good, but it's good. Yeah. It, no, it's like that one Aquaman set for me. No. Really? Yeah. So do you think it would have been better if they would have gave you two goals and then you could look it up? Yeah. That, yeah. But that would have added. That would have doubled the price. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's. Mm. Now, I've seen a few people mock them up to where they uh, they bought the two sets and then they build the bigger stands with them and had the two goals. Yeah, but yeah, I think I probably would have much rather had the the train than this. Yeah. So which Aquaman set are you talking about? Uh, the Atlant Attack on Atlantis set. That the little like fifteen dollar one. Yeah. Yeah. We got it on clearance, I think, for like six bucks. Yeah, I got one for. So, so I got one for like eleven dollars, and then I got one for seven dollars. Yeah, and so I ended up picking up like what seven of them. Yeah, then I got like seven Aquaman. Yeah. So the set itself sucks. Yeah. But all the pieces you get in there are awesome. Yeah, yeah you get you get all that that uh. That sand green, that tall yeah. sand green pieces. And then I bought at the last toy show. I bought like three little baggies of random parts for two bucks a piece. And I could tell that the guy must have got a bunch of those sets on clearance because I ended up with like twelve more of the sand green, like little uh, the one by two wall pieces. Oh yeah, it all came out of there. I was like, heck yeah, nice. Yeah, so I tried to. I threw up the the minifigures on Facebook Marketplace. You know, maybe someone would. Grab them up at like two bucks a piece, and no one was interested. So I don't need that many Aquaman, but the uh, the Atlantean soldiers or whatever that'd be cool to have a bunch of. Yeah. Oh, uh, what was it? Uh, oh yeah, I'm bringing a bunch of uh, poly bags and stuff for the yard sale. Poly, 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 poly bags. Yeah, and uh, I'm gonna bring some. Uh, uh, the Series 18 police officers and the Percival. Percival Graves to see if I can't work any kind of trades out. I got ended up with three uh, police officers, but only one Percival. Uh, see, we I think we ended up with 18, no, 19 police officers. 18 for Series 18. No, we, we ended up finding an extra one. Oh, yeah. Because right. all of a sudden, the store randomly came out with another box of the 18s, even though Harry Potter's been out. So I picked up another police officer. So we had 18 police officers and what, like 17 or 16 no, Percivals? I didn't keep track of Percivals. Percivals were unbelievably hard to find. Yeah. And then they're going to kind of short pack the Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Ah, I hate when they do that. So if we find a Huey, Dewey, and Louie, just feel for a short like, oh, that's one of them. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if, it's, if it's worth, you know, buying a bunch up. I mean, it's the Disney series. Everyone likes the Disney series. So you're not going to find it because you get the <clears throat> Disney fan. I'll right, we'll work out a deal with you for a personal, as long as you still have it sealed. Oh yeah, I, I, all my stuff is still sealed. Yeah. That's why I, I need. I opened one and then I want one still in the, the bag. 
Yep. Like I said, I got a bunch. Woohoo! And what year did you say you need it again? Oh yeah, the sparkly one. Yeah. I, I think I I I I'd have to check out what's on that shelf right there. Sparkles. Uh, 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 uh. Did you take the box of unit keys out of your room? It was perfect, Kitty. Is it? Oh, here we go, Blaze. We got one for you. Woohoo! Boom, right here. Here you yeah. go. Yeah. Sparkle Kitty, we got an extra one. That will complete my set. Right, so we'll just leave it on the shelf for uh, when you show up here. Uh, Hope Castle says they still have Harry Potters and the targets around here, and ours is loaded with them still. Yeah, mine's not. They are loaded with Christmas train poly bags. What's that? I said my target's got a lot of Christmas train poly bags. Yeah, yeah, we got a bunch of those too. I think my target's gonna be clogged with those freaking twenty twentieth anniversary Star Wars poly bags. They got tons of them. I need to get the pod racer. Oh, ours ours has like six freaking pegs full of those pod racers. Because I've got the the other ones I I haven't bought, um, but someone has bought them for me, and we're gonna be swapping at Philly. Oh, nice! I wasn't sure if I was gonna get them around here because my Walmart never get, like anytime there's a big display of poly bags and stuff that Walmart gets, they don't show up at the stores in my area. Oh, okay. Somebody found them. I was like, hey, uh, give me. I had to get me two of the Naboo Starfighter, two of the Snow Speeder. And then one, uh, oh, what was the other one? There's two, uh, the two city ones. Oh, uh, is it the popcorn? The, no, the fire, the fire car. Oh, with the okay, yeah. Uh, oh, and then the other one's the creator, the, the roses with the B on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I passed up on the one and the Minecraft one. Uh, I did buy two of the Minecraft ones. I thought the, you know, the Minecraft one was. The, the the you know I don't know the best price to part I guess to because you yeah. get what many figures with that yeah you take yeah you get the creeper and the Steve or whatever it's not bad a couple yeah. actual bricks you know then uh, somebody has gotten me the Iron Man and Dummy as well two of those oh, see I haven't found that one yet I'm I gotta stop at the oh. Walmart and see if they they got that one <laughs> yeah my my store actually got those. And I didn't buy them because I knew that someone had already gotten them for me. So I left them for somebody else to buy. <laughs> nice. But if you need them, I can go get them. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'll let you know because uh, usually our Walmarts are usually pretty good. You know, when a Walmart one comes out, they get them in within a week of everyone else finding them. <clears throat> and then they start marking it down. Because <laughs> we have like six Walmarts around our town. So. All right, Blaze. So uh, we're going to be wrapping up. That's a city. <laughs> what? What's that? He said, if you have six Walmarts, that's not a town. That's a city. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. We are the second biggest city in Illinois. So. Nice. Yeah. All right, Blaze. So we're going to wrap it up here. Um, if you guys have not subscribed to Brick Blaze, make sure to subscribe to him. With Please as many thank you. as you can because he will be giving away some awesome prizes at a thousand subscribers. Uh, also look for uh, for some fun blaze brickhead and uh, butt chop uh, videos coming out for Philly. Lots of them. I think we'll have some fun, and I dig that 360 cam, dude. I, yeah. I dig well, it's coming with me. It'll be in the, the vehicle on the ride up there. I, I, I do have a quick story, though, because you post that video of you walking you know, down uh, the convention, right? Mm -hmm. and, and your, your video said 360 video. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, I'm watching it. I'm like, this isn't 360. And then I start moving. I, I accidentally, like, dropped my, my phone. I'm like, oh, there it is. It's 360. <laughs> I'm like going all around. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And you can actually just use your finger and swipe on the screen to move the view as well. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, because I'm like spinning in my chair at work like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I look down and I can see your hand holding the, the, the handle and that's fun. Yep, it's going to be fun. 
So, uh, so you, I see what you already said. Put, subscribe to Dugo Puff. Dugo I'm Puff. almost at 50 subscribers. I'm at 47, so I'm probably oh, pretty nice. proud of that. You know? Nice. What are you going to give away at 50 subscribers? A thank you? A thank you, yes. <laughs> All right, so uh, like I said, make sure to go subscribe to Blaze, Jigglepuff. Make sure to go to Iceberg Bricks. Iceberg will be giving away Apocalyptic Berg. And then uh, the Holland Ball and Boys are giving away a uh, Star Wars thing? Death what is Star. It? The Death Star. Star Wars? Death Star. <laughs> Death All right, Star. So also go out and get our buddy Hoosier some, some love out there, too. I know he's getting to 1,000 because he likes to... Stream using his phone, so we need to get him at a thousand. Also, uh, we need to keep our community together and uh, community strong. So, everyone, if you have alt accounts, make sure to make sure and subscribe with those too. Exactly. Uh, <clears throat> all right, guys. So, uh, make sure to go to our merch shop in the link below. Uh, order yourself a Brickhead Family T-shirt, or if you don't like us that much, we do have other fun Lego design T-shirts down there. Uh, so you don't even have to have our name branded on you. So make sure to go on and buy one of those. Uh, also make sure to check out our Patreon page. With every donation, you get put in the another brick in the wall wall. Your name will be put on a brick and put on another brick in the wall wall, of course. And uh, also make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Pinterest, and Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we, we just gave away a um, Star Stuck Poly Bag on our Facebook page, and the kid looked like he was amazed by it so if you guys want to check that out go to our facebook page and check that out anything else yeah <laughs> i don't know no. all right uh we are two weeks away from philly uh i don't know if we will be doing a live stream that wednesday night at philly it just depends on uh what kind of uh wi-fi we can get onto down there we will at least make a video <clears throat> yeah and then uh, tune in next Wednesday for another Let's Chat Wednesday as we will be live again to talk to you, the fans. One week from Philly will be next week. All right. Yeah, I know, right? I'm excited. As always, guys. Break time is family time. Break time is family time. See ya. Peace. Good evening. Uh,